Hi, I'm David Precision from Do Yoga With Me. This class is all about getting things unstuck. Anxiety is often about holding on to stuff. So we're going to use the breath and movement to push that stuff through to feel a lot more relaxed and at ease at the end of class. I use a block during the class to sit on. We're going to sit we're going to start class sitting in Varasana, so sitting on the heels. So you can also grab a bolster or a stack of blocks to sit on if your ankles don't feel comfortable. Or you can sit cross-legged if that doesn't work for you. So as I said in the introduction, we'll start sitting on our heels. Provide support you need. Place your hands on your thighs and sit nice and tall. Close your eyes, place your hand on your belly, empty out the lungs, we're breathing in and out of the nose. I want you to take a breath in and expand into your hand, just like a balloon is inflating with air. Big breath in, and then squeeze it out when you exhale. Press the belly down into the spine, give it a good squeeze at the end. Okay, breathe in again through the nose. Keep your jaw soft, your face soft. And exhale, press the belly into the spine. Good, place your hands, your palms on the sides of your waist. Take a breath in and expand into your hands now. Two breaths. And exhale. Breathe in, expand into the hands. Exhale. Place the back of one hand on your lower back. Breathe in, expand to the lower spine, filling the space between the vertebrae with breath. And exhale. Breathe in, expand into the hand. And exhale. Step that hand onto the thigh. Two breaths in, expanding in all directions now. Breathe in. Filling up that balloon, expanding in all directions as much as you can. Exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Now place the palms on the front of the ribs. We're going to breathe into the rib cage now. And I want you to try to slow the breath down. Even if the nervous system is trying to make you go fast, slow it down. Take deep, slow breaths. Breathe into the hands. Fill up the space between the ribs. And exhale. Squeeze it out. All of the air leaves your lungs. Give one last little squeeze at the end. Breathe in. Expand into the hands. Filling up every tiny space with breath. And exhale. Soften the shoulders, relax your face. Place the palms on the sides of the ribs. If you can't, then just rest your hands on your thighs. Breathe into the sides of the rib cage, filling the space between the ribs with breath, expanding out into the palms. And exhale. Soften the shoulders, relax your body when you breathe out. Breathe in. Filling up the space underneath the palms. And exhale. Now your hands can rest on the thighs. Breathe into the back of the rib cage. Breath in. And exhale.
breath in. And exhale. Now breathing in all directions. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. Good, now let's put it all together. Starting with the lower body, fill up those, the space in all directions, then up into the rib cage, just as we've done. And I want you to slow it down and deepen it as much as you can. So go ahead and empty out your lungs. Take a breath in now, really slow and deep. And exhale, soften your jaw, soften your shoulders, relax your body. Okay, breathe in. And exhale. Okay, now with the breath, you're bringing something in that feels good to you, like I am safe, I am peaceful. Take a breath in. I am relaxed. I am not anxious. And then exhale, let go of everything that you don't need. Anxiety, stress, depression, worry, all of that leaves your body. Okay, breathe in again, bring in the cleansing feeling of joy and love, happiness, peace. And exhale, let go of everything you don't need. Two more times, breathe in. Cleansing the body with breath. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Step forward onto your hands and knees. Spread out the fingers, give your ankles a few circles. So the hands are below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Take a big breath in. And exhale, round the spine up, tuck the tailbone, and tuck the chin. Getting a good stretch to the back. Inhale, let the spine round down, tailbone lifts, and the head reaches up. Let's do that once more. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, round down. And then come to your neutral back and press up so that you're above your knees. You can provide some padding for your knees with a blanket or a soft block. And then step your right foot out to the side. Flatten it down, toes pointing forward. Press the outer edge of the foot into the ground and lift the hip bones so that your pelvis tilts back a little bit. Take a breath in, arms to shoulder height. Soften the shoulders, exhale, reach to the right, lower the hand to the leg and sweep the left arm over the head. Keep this right leg pressing into the outer edge of the foot. As you breathe in, lift the heart and as you exhale, reach through the fingertips. Two more breaths here. Okay, breathe in, arms to shoulder height, hands to the hips. Step your right knee down and step the left foot out to the side. 
Flatten it down, press into the outer edge of the foot, take a breath in, arms to shoulder height, soften the shoulders, and exhale, reach to the left. Lengthen, lower the hand and sweep the right arm over the head. Lift the heart, reach to the fingertips, press into that bottom knee. Two breaths here. Okay, take a breath in, come up, arms to shoulder height, hands to the hips, lower the left knee. And then come onto your hands and knees, move that support under the knees off to the side, and then again sit back on your heels. Place your hands on your thighs again. Now let's unblock this feeling of anxiety in our body. So remember, it's stagnation that is keeping you there. So we're going to use the breath to push out of that. So start by taking a big breath in, the same way you did before with both of those expansions, belly, lower back, rib cage. And this time, breathe out of your mouth. Another breath in. So every time you exhale, imagine you're breathing out that feeling of blocked anxiety. Exhale. Okay, breathe in. Now we're adding some little coughs at the end. Breathing out of the mouth. Right when you get to the very end, you cough the very last little bit out. Good, breathe in. Let's do that again and we'll start to round the spine. Exhale. Breathe in through the nose. Last time. Good. Step onto your hands, lift your feet, whirl out your ankles a few times. Take a big breath in. <clears throat> Exhale, round the spine up, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. And then inhale, let the spine round, lift the tailbone, lift the head. And again, round up. And round down. Okay, now tuck the toes. We'll come up to what I call waterfall pose. So straighten the legs and let your upper body hang over the legs. You can grab your opposite elbows. Give your legs and your back a stretch. Let the arms hang, slight bend to your knees and come all the way up to standing. Give your shoulders a big roll when you get to the top. And stand in mountain pose. Okay, now step to the middle of your mat. Now we're going to get that anxiety out. We're going to use the breath again, and we're going to incorporate movement now. So I want you to step your right foot back and feel a stable base here. Take a breath into the torso the same way you did before, belly, rib cage. Reach your right arm back, and every time you push forward, you're pushing through the palm, and you're going to exhale like that, right? Take a breath in, reach back, and exhale, press forward. Take a breath in, reach back, and exhale, press forward. Now let's slow it down a little bit. Inhale. And do this with a lot of force. Exhale, push. Like you're pushing through molasses. Inhale, bring back. Exhale, push through molasses. Inhale. Imagine that all of the energy is leaving out of that palm, right from your belly. Two more times, breathe in. And exhale, pull with your left hand, push with your right. Breathe in. And exhale, pull with your left hand, push with your right. Good, step the right foot forward, give your body a shake. And then step your left foot back. All right, with force, starting with taking a breath in, reach the left hand back. And then quickly exhale, inhale, reach it back, and exhale, inhale, reach it back. This time slow it down like you're pushing through molasses. Remember from your belly to your palm, 
Exhale, press, push that energy through. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, push the energy through. Inhale, breathe back. And exhale, push. Let your arms hang, step forward. Give your body a shake. And then let your body hang over the legs. Arms hang, head hangs, neck is long. Two breaths here. Bend the knees, ragdoll, come all the way up to standing. Okay, breath of joy. Now the arms come along your sides. We swing the arms forward, back, forward again. Each one is a breath in, and then we exhale and we throw everything onto the ground. So again, from the belly, through the hands, we're getting all of that stagnation out of the body. All right, take a breath in, reach the arms forward, back, forward, and throw it down. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. All right, let's add a more forceful ha every time we throw the arms down. Inhale. Ha. Follow me. Ha. 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 Two more. Stay down, let your arms hang, let your head hang, let the blood drain down into your fingertips. Slow, soft breathing and relax. Good, allow your knees to bend. We're gonna sit cross-legged. So you can lower yourself down onto support or on the floor. Sit on a support if you need it. Hands on the thighs. Start to lean forward. And move the body in a circle like you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with the top of your head. Make that circle as big as you can. Moving the body fluidly, keeping the shoulders soft. And then change the direction of that circle. And then let your body come forward the next time you move forward. You can place the hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward and let the head drop. You can sway the body from side to side here, or you can just keep the body dropping forward to release the hips and the back. Two breaths here. And yeah, then press yourself up. Switch your legs so the other foot is in front and switch the direction of the circle. Nice big circle. And again, the next time you come forward, place the hands on the ground. Walk forward, let the head drop. Soften your legs and your hips and feel free to sway a little bit. And press yourself back up. Stretch your legs out, give them a shake. 
and then cross your legs in whatever position feels good. Okay, let's move towards a more rapid breathing. So this time we're gonna pump the belly. So it's similar to that breathing that we did in the belly earlier on, except this time it's a forceful exhalation and you allow the breath to come in on its own. So the belly, the hand goes on the belly. So try it a couple times, breathing out through the nose and then allowing the breath to come in. Keep your mouth closed. So let's try that. Forceful exhalation, allow the breath to come in. So every time you force the breath out, the breath comes in and so on. Keep the jaw relaxed, keep the face relaxed. Okay, now take a break. Keep your hand on the belly. Now we're gonna do 30 breaths. Close your eyes and go. Okay, big breath in. Hold the breath in at the top. Relax your body while the breath is held in. And exhale. Okay, let's do a few more rounds of that. Every time we finish, we'll do the full breath in, hold the top, and then exhale out the mouth. All right, let's do 40 this time. And go. Okay, big breath in. Hold at the top. This time I want you to drop your chin to your chest while you're holding your breath. Relax your body. Lift your head and breathe out all of the tension in your body. Good, switch your legs. Hand on the belly, 50, and go. Big breath in, hold the top, let the chin drop. If you understand how to lift Mula Bandha, go ahead and do that. Soften your shoulders, your face. Lift your head, let all of the tension out of your body with the breath. Hand on the belly, sit up nice and tall. Last round, 60, and go. Big breath in, hold at the top. Let the chin drop, lift Mula Bandha. Soften your shoulders, your face, your eyes, your tongue. And exhale. Okay, let's keep the breath going. Lift your head, take a breath in. Hold at the top, drop the chin. Lift, Mula Bandha, stay. And feel that buildup of energy in your body starting to move. As you exhale, the breath and the energy pushes through your body. <sighs> Bringing life energy out into your fingertips. Big breath in. Hold. The life force within you starts to build. 
and exhale, you release it. Last time, big breath in. Let the chin drop, lift and move the bundle. This time, press the belly in lightly, pushing that energy, building it up. And exhale, release everything. Good, enjoy that sensation. Stretch out your legs. Give them a shake. Cross your legs whatever way is comfortable. Finishing with lion pose. Show me your lion claws, your lion fangs. We're going to take a big breath in. And when we exhale, we roar. When you roar, you open up your mouth as wide as you can. You look up because it looks scary. You stick out your tongue as far as you can and you show me your claws. All right, let's try it. Big breath in. Go. Two more times, big breath in. Let everything out on the roar. Go. One more, big breath in. Go. Good. Step your hands behind you, stretch your legs out. And then bend your knees, place your feet flat on the floor, and let your knees drop from side to side. Just encouraging that new energy to move through your body. And then make your way onto your back. Once you're on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. Then place the feet flat on the ground. Arms can go out to the sides with the palms facing up. Cross your right leg fully over the left thigh so the knee is right on top. You might want to shimmy your hips a little bit to the left. And then drop the knees to the right. It'll feel like your right leg is pulling the left knee down to the ground. Keep your shoulders on the ground and turn your head to the left. And allow yourself to completely release into this pose. Soften everywhere. Let the weight of the legs create the stretch. Now I want you to tune into the activity of your nervous system. Your nervous system is responsible for activating your organs and your muscles, for keeping you alive. It allows you to feel sensation. But on the other side, it, when it's overactive, can create tension in your body. can make you feel things like stress, anxiety, depression, feel like fighting or running away. Let's lift those knees on a breath in. Keep them crossed the way they are and let them fall to the left as your head turns to the right. I want you to see if you can turn down the dial that leads to stress and anxiety. Imagine that those dials are right in front of you and you can turn it down. Turn down the feeling of urgency. Turn down feelings of needing things to be done right now. Turn down feelings of insecurity, guilt, fear, worry. All of that gets turned down right now. Lift the knees and look up. Place the right foot flat. Cross the left leg over the right thigh. And lower the knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. I 
Now picture those volume controls again, the dials. And now you're going to go to the second dial, the one that is all about vitality, energy, joy, love, happiness, community, connections to people. And turn that dial up. And feel the effects in your body. Feel what it feels like to be full of sensations like love for yourself and for others. Openness. No fear, no worry, no anxiety. Acceptance. Okay, look up and take a breath in and lift those knees. Stay with that feeling as the knees drop down to the left. Turn the head to the right and sink into it. Use the breath to let go. Take a breath in to lift the knees. Bring your arms along your sides. And stretch your legs out into our final pose of relaxation. Palms face up. Legs are separated and relaxed. And right away, tune into how your body's feeling right now. So when you turn the dial up, it is all about things that make you feel good, make you feel connected, make you feel real. And those things can be feelings like sadness and loss. But the key is that they're real sensations and you allow them to move through you. They don't get stuck inside. When you hold tension, when you allow yourself to be tight, when you allow your muscles to feel tight and your body to feel stressed out. And you carry that with you. The emotions don't pass through. They stay and they remain stagnant. And you have a holding feeling in your body, a holding pattern. So I want you to see if you can let that go. Turn the dial down. Whatever holding pattern you have in your body, turn it off. Let go of the grip. Let go of the feeling of protection. And instead, allow yourself to feel open. Like you're willing to embrace life and accept it for what it is. You're willing to embrace yourself and accept you for who you are. Turn that dial up. And 
relax into it. Surrender. And see how you feel. Okay, bring your knees up to your chest. Hug them in nice and tight. Roll to your side. Rest there for a moment with your head resting on your bottom arm. And then push yourself up to a seated position. Come up to a cross-legged position. So you have nice and tall, reach the arms out to the sides, and then wrap your arms around your chest, really tight. Bring the fingers around the shoulders, try to touch the shoulder blades all the way back, and then give your body a squeeze, a really tight squeeze. So you have nice and tall. And take a big breath in, lift the heart as you reach the arms out again. This time the other arm goes on top. Wrap around, try to grab the shoulder blades at the back, and then squeeze the arms in. Release the stretch, place the hands on the thighs, sit up tall, close your eyes, and tune in. Tune into what you're feeling right now. And acknowledge the effort that you put in class and the intention that you had when you pressed play to address some of those feelings that you have within you that can feel blocked, energy not moving in your body properly. And acknowledge the fact that, that you now have a new relationship with your body. And it's about respect and acceptance and love and embracing the parts of you that you might find challenging and hard and painful and allowing them to simply be there and move through you rather than holding on and gripping and creating needless tension. Bring your palms together Open your eyes. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.